stressed less. Good category because I haven't had a very good past couple of days, but today specifically, I worked after my six days off and I am received by once again being the only cashier because we had a call out. But at least my supervisors were pretty good. They were covering after the second half of my shift. So no complaints there. It just sucks because it's that season when the demand is high. And we hired three people. Finally, we have been needing to hire people desperate. So I'm interested to see what this category brings to me. Get off your phone at least an hour before you go to sleep. This one, I don't know what to tell you guys about this one because to me in recent years, having my phone on playing something in the background has legit helped me sleep. I don't know if it's because I have changed to where I need to be read something to sleep, I guess. I don't remember being that child that was read stories to before bed but i kid you not for about three years i don't know if it was because of how stressed i was and peak depression but i couldn't sleep then i discovered that if i tried to watch a documentary that shit was putting me to sleep i discovered that about a year and a half ago two years ago and then I had my ring light on a warm setting. I was using that as my room's light as opposed to a ceiling light. And I think it was because of how dim I could make that lighting, but it was legit making me have better times falling asleep. Like I wasn't tossing and turning as much. I never thought I would be that person who would sleep with a light on because I felt like I needed as much darkness as possible and maybe the brightest I could have was like a starry night and maybe a street light off the distance but even the moon light sometimes it could be bright enough to where it could disrupt me but my little ring light with the warm setting to it as opposed to the white light that comes out of it it is super then about a year ago more like a year and a half ago i got a galaxy light and that was a complete life changer i'm just sad that the red light something happened to it it just burned out on me it died and that was the one i used the most the blue one is the light I had to have on until I was able to finally pick up some batteries for the remote to be able to switch the colors. And then I said, if I've been using the blue light more than the red one, why did the red one just burn out? Why couldn't it be the stupid white and grayish light? Because that's the one I never use. And even if I were to try to blend it with any of the other colors, it doesn't look good. So I switch it between blue and green, or blue or green, but lately I went from never using solid green to using green, and it's been awesome. I don't think I could go back to not having a galaxy light, and it helps me so much that I never see it turning off. It's supposed to turn off after four hours, and I remember how I could stay up all night long, Something about that ambience, the ambience of having a narrator voice in the background and having the light on, it just helped me. And I have the galaxy light set to the dimmest possible setting. When it comes to the phone, I don't need it to be actively tuning into it, but I do find that beneficial now. I remember I was appalled back in high school when one of my teachers said that he, in order to sleep, needs to have the TV on. And what's funny about this teacher is that we have the same birthday. Not birth date, of course, but I said to myself, I cannot imagine a life in which I can have a light on overnight or a TV on. But yeah, it's true. I can totally say that's something I'm going through 
now and when it comes to the galaxy light i used to be upset that it wouldn't stay on all night long it had that four hour timer but in a sense i'm glad that it has the timer because that way it's not just lighting my room up in vain in the dark but if i'm watching tv and i'm not going to sleep like i'm actually recreationally watching something or playing a game the rare occasions i do that then yeah i prefer to have the galaxy light on and if we're watching movies too the galaxy light it helps set an ambience and to me my favorite thing is watching space stuff star wars and then having the blue light with the green laser the green laser are dots that mimic stars when i used to have the red light that was the best light to have on for the star wars movie where we see exegol exegon whatever the name of that sith place is because you know how the sith have red sabers well the red light really really help with that ambience and it was also pretty cool to watch episode three with i think that planet is called mustafar the volcano planet yeah it was super awesome and i've never been impressed by say having candles or setting up my environment a certain way but i can tell you that changing the lighting did make a little bit of a difference it just felt more immersive well, do you guys have it? That's it from me on this one. Thank you so much for tuning in. I can say that I don't depend on the phone to transition into being relaxed. I stop my phone usage pretty much at will. Sometimes in the evenings, if my boyfriend and I are in the same room or we're hanging out together, I'm not on my phone at all. And if I'm watching TV or a movie, same thing. I prefer to give it my attention. And when it comes to before bed, the most I can be doing is just listening to something, but not necessarily too actively. I like to replay documentaries that I'm already familiar with, because if I play a documentary that's new, then I may be paying attention to it so much that paying attention to it keeps me awake. But if I need a little bit of help, then I'll try to tune in to something that makes me a little sleepy, a little tired. Okay, that's it. Bye.